Okay, so going into the field in 1994, it's just a year or so after the war ends in Ethiopia, what were some of the logistic challenges associated with mounting this fairly complicated survey instrument at, at that time? Well, it was actually um, just the kind of ingenuity of the people at the, at the economics department at Addis University, Ababa University that really uh, saved us and made sure this really was a big success. So in practice, one of the things that we had to decide early on is just purely you know, where are people going to stay. So in fact, in lots of the villages, and we still actually do this in practice in quite a few of them, but in lots of the villages, people just had to take tents and go and camp in this village with a whole team for about three, four weeks. Because the questionnaires, as we know, are actually quite long and they take a long time and people were not used uh, to, to be part of service and not least even district authorities and local authorities were not quite used to having any of these processes. So it always took a long time to make sure people would trust the activities we were doing in, in the field. So it was definitely very rough and, and tough for the team involved. Um, at the same time, if we, for example, think back at the budget, half the budget was transport. Um, it is quite a typical phenomenon that actually service in Africa can sometimes be quite expensive just because of these transport costs. And this is really in a situation where there would just not have been any public transport for actually getting these people to all these locations. So we needed to have ways of, uh, of including uh, um, sufficient means of transport to get the people delivered in the different places. Um, in terms of other logistical problems, um, this was a country where the kind of research capacity, but also the survey implementation capacity was extremely low at the time. Basically, no one involved in the survey had uh, really ever done a survey before, with maybe one or two exceptions who had done probably samples of 20 or 30 households over a weekend very near to Addis Ababa. So we had to actually build up from zero the entire capacity to do this kind of research instruments uh, in, in the field. And there was a lot of training involved, a lot of uh, skill formation that had to take place. Now, I would say these days, Ethiopia has some of the strongest and more experienced longitudinal uh, survey uh, implementers. There's actually several panel data surveys taking place in Ethiopia. And if you sometimes look at some of who are these teams, quite a lot of them were initially enumerators in our 94 survey. So definitely a lot of capacity building took place, but it didn't mean it was easy to start with.